Everybody, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I'm out here doing a quick video, um, a first impressions video of the new tarp that I got in from One Wind. And this goes perfectly with the last hammock that I, actually both hammocks that I got from One Wind. Uh, the, the, what is it, 11, 12 foot bug net hammock and the ultralight hammock that I just got. Uh, both of them have uh, built in ridge lines, which goes nice if you have the one wind hexagonal tarp. Now, I've never actually had a, uh, a tarp of, that, of this style before. It's usually bigger tarps. Big tarps or really big tarps. Like the giant ass freaking AquaQuest. <laughs> but as far as like, you know, putting it actually in your pack for your shelter kit, like, this comes out pretty nice both pieces are pretty lightweight don't take up a whole bunch of space and especially in the warmer months like a lot of times that's all you need so if you want to take this first look with me then don't go away So the last one that I got, the ultralight uh, hammock, was actually kind of a lucky break because it wasn't the hammock that I thought I was going to be reviewing. It kind of sent me the wrong one. I thought I was going to do like the double layer. I wanted to try that out. But they were going to send me the double layer after I informed them of this. And I'm like, you know what? I think people would probably be more interested in seeing one of the tarps to go with both hammocks that I've already shown. It's like, I don't really need three hammocks, <laughs> but I just haven't had a good Silni tarp, you know, that's packable, you know, all this time. So Sil Silni tarps, obviously, you know, it's uh, it's, it's ripstop nylon. It's got uh, silicone on the outer layer and polyurethane waterproof layer on the bottom. Very waterproof, very good. So let's check out what this actually came with. Okay, so it did come with six of these pretty good size um, orange guy lines. Now, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything fancy with these this time. Just getting it set up how I want to do it. So I just did some simple knots to tie these things out. But got the stretchy cord here for for tying the things out. So it gives a little bit tarp itself really nice material just like the hammocks haven't had any issues with the hammocks whatsoever and this style of tarp is one of the ones that you can kind of like I'll do this on another video like rig out one side of it and kind of make a, a pitch shelter I don't know what the word is. It's this thing on the screen right here. So we'll have to do that. And then I've got the ultra light hammock in here with the built-in ridge line that is going to hold the hold the tarp in place. And of course, the hammock comes with the the straps and the Get back down here. The buckle system that they have on these hammocks is really easy to use, really easy to set up. So, first time setting it up, it was a piece of cake. I'm just gonna, you know, tweak some things. Um, how I how I actually want to do it. Sometimes I like to, even if I do have the ridge line, I like to have my own ridge line, separate ridge line for the tarp. I could set it up a little bit higher or just make it a little bit more secure or whatnot. But you don't actually need it if you're running this system because it has that, that built-in ridge line on the hammock. And I did see these 
these tarps you know they are are on their website but they also have a, a store on Amazon and they were about 59 bucks for this tarp which is a pretty good deal actually I think now one thing I like about a system like this especially with you know the aluminum stakes with the multiple points is say you don't want to be completely covered you just want some sunshade I could just unhook it like I did you know feed it through the other side of the hammock and then hook it onto the other stakes so that's what's nice about having those uh, shock cord tie out points on the hammock not only do they let it give a little bit so you're not tearing up your hammock but they also make it a heck of a lot easier to you know pull them off of the stakes when you want when it's time to do that so but typically if I was setting up my hammock I would and I was gonna want to do stuff like this I would probably just uh, run my own ridge line like I normally do so I actually have that you've seen that in my kit I've got like a pretty long pre-cut 550 paracord ridge line that I keep with uh, a, a night eyes figure night carabiner that I could just set up between trees and throw up whatever kind of tarp I want so I don't have to use the built-in ridge line on this hammock. You can actually just unhook it from the other end and then not have the, the ridge line over top of it. But if it's all you got, it definitely takes care of it. It definitely works. So I'll be looking forward to uh, trying this out. Let's uh, see some thunderstorms coming and I can plan for it or whatnot. Or just freaking get out here and get some camping done. <clears throat> That'll be good. But yeah, as long as it's uh, we don't, as long as we don't have any kind of bug issues, I can just go ahead and use this one. If it's gonna be a lot of mosquitoes or something like that, I'll use the one that's got the built-in bug net. But I like that this tarp packs down so small. It means it's the it's probably the lightest weight, least bulky tarp that I can actually put in my kit. So you're probably gonna see. Um, these two items when I do the 15 pound kit which will be the next one that I do because that's just covering a lot of ground right there with shelter and especially comfort and being able to rest because there's no better sleep than in a hammock unless it's freezing ass cold and you don't have an underquilt then that's a different story but in optimal conditions Hammocks are definitely a way to go, especially as you get older. So I'm really happy with this thus far on the initial inspection video. Um, stay tuned, we'll be doing more with it. Um, this will be, this is part of my system now. You know, choosing which of those two hammocks I'm going to use. And then this tarp, clearly, is going to go with it. Unless I was doing some sort of, you know, all weekend base camp type thing that I didn't have to hike hike all the way in, then I might use like one of my larger tarps because I can set up a whole big crazy thing. <clears throat> but just keeping it simple, having shelter, being covered. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this company. I'm liking the stuff that they got. Um, definitely give them, give them a thumbs up thus far. So they give you six of these guy lines, which are pretty long you get a you get a good amount of cordage with this and when it, when it was when I first pulled out of the package I thought it was all just one big bundle but it was actually pre-cut into six equal lengths which was nice because there's more than enough cordage here to set this up you know even if you got a jerry rig it or whatever it's it's plenty that plus the four stakes and once it's all packed up, that's what it packs down to. Yeah, that's not taking up much space at all. And that's got plenty of room for 11 foot hammock. So lots of cover. Overall, this is a pretty good uh, addition to the kit. This is definitely going to, I'd say with the stakes, this feels like it's about pound pound 25 and I'll remember that for when we do the kit we're gonna find out for sure 
but um, the 15 pound kit. But yeah, this is definitely a lot easier to pack than the bigger stuff. So I'm liking it. Good product here. So you will see it again. You will see it more in use. So this is not the end of it. This is just the introduction. So there you go, folks. That is the One Wind Hexagonal Tarp. Works great. Uh, definitely check out the website. Use the link in the description box below. It's actually in all my videos now because um, I have a discount, uh, uh, coupon discount. I forget what it was. It was 5 or 10, something like that. But you'll see it. Might as well take advantage of getting a little bit knocked off there. Plus, that helps support the channel. Other ways is obviously click my link tree, buy me a coffee, five bucks a month, get you in the members supporter giveaway. This month we've got another Benchmade, the Benchmade Freak, like a $310 folder. And then we've got the Work Tough Gear Aurora Borealis Voyager. Chill out, B buzzing me and stuff when I'm trying to shoot a video. So other than that, uh, I'll see you again soon.